It might seem odd to think that some wines aren't suitable for vegetarians or for vegans. When you think about it, wine is just fermented grape juice, isn't it? Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that. After fermentation, a newly finished wine is pretty cloudy to look at. It contains tiny particles of grape skins, dead yeast cells, pectins, tannins, proteins, I could go on. Eventually, those tiny particles will settle on the bottom of the wine barrel or the wine tank, and then the clear, bright wine can be drawn off the top, a process called racking. However, this usually takes quite a long time, and many winemakers prefer to bottle their wine fairly quickly after harvest. For example, most smooth, light, fruity wines tend to be early bottled. So in order to get clear, bright wines, winemakers use a process called fining. Essentially, fining is just adding a substance into the wine which will bind with those particles, making them easier to remove. Some of these substances have the added benefit of softening tannins, making wines softer on the palate. The problem for vegetarians and vegans is that many of these fining substances contain animal products or byproducts like gelatin, egg whites, or a milk protein called casein. Also, certain types of synthetic corks are made using milk-based glues. Wineries in North America and the EU are not obliged to list their ingredients on the label, so it's not always that easy to know which fining agents were used. That being said, most major wine retailers around the world, especially supermarkets, do insist that their wines be vegetarian and vegan friendly, and many wineries have moved to vegan friendly fining agents. If you want to be 100% sure, the best thing to do is to check the back label. Many wineries are starting to add messages that say suitable for vegetarians and vegans, and others will specify if the wine has been bottled without fining. You can also ask your wine store staff to help you out. Some will have their vegan and vegetarian friendly wines in a different section, or at the very least, they'll have the technical details for each wine on file somewhere and so they can check. Thanks so much for watching. If you like learning about wine, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Feel free to shoot me a comment or a thumbs up. And until next time, santé.